Sandy Gregg is in the house. Everybody tell Miss Sandy hello. Hey, Sandy, I'm so glad you're here. Hello, everybody. Sorry we're running a little late. Getting set up now. We'll give you some updates, and then we'll get you started. We'll get you started. I got some things to show you tonight. Hey, Will. Will, my wife just sent you a message. We were having dinner, catching up. And we just sent you a message. Uh, we couldn't friend you on Facebook, bro. For some reason, it wouldn't let us. But hopefully, you'll see the message. I don't know exactly. I've never even figured out where to find those when you're not friends with somebody on Facebook. But please do check. We love you, and we appreciate you. You made our day today, Will. Can't wait to do some videos with that wonderful, amazing gift. Thank you so much. Uh, we're, we're doing things different, Chris, and I will explain that in the Zoom room. I also went over it this morning. I'll explain why. If you're trying to get in the Zoom room, you now have, there's a reason for it. Uh, you now have to register uh, on the website. Uh, you can go to travis.coach www.travis.coach, not .com, but www.travis.coach. And you have to register there now for the Zoom room. Uh, and there's a reason for that because we're providing extra accountability for no charge. I have to say no charge a lot these days because people say, how, how much is that going to cost me? There's no charge. We're just loving on you. But you got to go to www.travis.coach to get the Zoom link. Zoom link. There's a reason for it. Oh, sorry about that. Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing today? Did you have a good day? Are you having a perfect day? Are you on schedule to, to finish the week like you had planned? Is the diet devil got his talons and grip upon you? How are you doing? Let me know while we're waiting just a second for people to get in here. Hey, Ashley Duffy. My throat's so dry. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mmm. Hey, hear that, Paulette. Why are you not doing good? How did the diet devil get hold of you today? Let's learn from it. The link to sign up for the Zoom room for extra accountability, and I'll share that with you tonight, is www.travismyname.coach, C-O-A. I believe I'm right. I have a lot of links to remember. www.travis.coach. Is that right, Sasha? Okay. She heard me. I got a good wife. Jan is feeling great on day six of a lion and shark week. Proud to hear that. One of the best days ever is a lion and shark day if you follow the Shibboleth rules. Rebecca Jones. Hello, Rebecca Jones. Yeah, in the Zoom room, uh, you'll have to start going to the schedule at my Shibboleth and registering there because the way we're going to do attendance, uh, the way we're going to hold folks accountable, we really believe for success. There needs to be accountability. So our serious students are in the Zoom room. Not to say that folks on Facebook are not serious, but I don't know who is serious and who is not. But I do know if you come to the Zoom room, you're serious. Now Chris is here. Hey. Paulette says, I start out each day perfect, and then bam! I cave in to temptations. We have to refer to our good book, the good word. God will not allow us to face temptation without a way of escape. I hope that you're journaling, Paulette. Are you journaling, Paulette? Are you? I have to hold you accountable. You're in the Zoom room. Are you journaling and figuring out what those triggers are? What in that moment caused that? And what thought processes can we adhere to next time so that you overcome that? Until we address those issues, you will continue to cave into temptation. Karen went to the Mexican restaurant, did as you said, tacos with green peppers, and took my tortilla. I love it. Way to go. It makes a difference. 
What we do around here is we eat good food and lose weight instead of eating good food and gain weight. That's what we do. Joseph uh, or Lisa, Lisa, how can I get in the Zoom room? I prefer Zoom. You can go to www.travis.coach and you can register there for the Zoom room each and every day. Good to have y'all in the Zoom room and on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, please like, share, follow. We need you. We love you. What a what a day this has been. It, we've been trying to fix things and make things better all week. We started Monday. I told you a new program on Monday, and uh, we're having to drip out the changes. We dripped out some changes on Monday and Tuesday, and we hit that spam rule again. Last night we met with a, a, a vendor till about midnight trying to fix these spam issues so we don't get blocked. So we should resume what we started on Monday ASAP. Uh, we're getting a lot of emails that say, where's my, where's my third journey video? Well, bear with us because if y'all remember, does anybody remember me saying, to make me feel better, remember me saying now before Monday, realize that it's gonna be slow drip for the week because if we send out too much too fast, we won't be able to handle all the the new the, the problems that arise. Do y'all remember that? Make me feel better because a lot of people are saying, you said you'd get this and you'd get that. And it, Paulette remembers me saying that. Yes, ma'am. I was just going to say when they when they go to Travis.coach, if they've already registered for any of these nightly meetings, then they'll see green button that says enter live class. And when they click that, it'll take them right into the Zoom room. Is there a way for me to demo this here? Uh, yeah, if you've um, if you if you yeah if you've registered for it or if you want to share your, your so if I go www I probably hadn't registered for my own class let me see mm -hmm. so if I go to www.travis.coach now it, it took me there so oh okay so let me let me show y'all and do they get an email now they do get an email and I think the the reminder emails are um going to confirm that but they'll be getting a reminder email as well they definitely get an email right after they register so the I hate when I you know I hadn't eaten all day we're the real world program here mm -hmm. I hadn't eaten all day and I hate eating right before class my face gets red I'm up I'm burping in front of everybody. Y'all forgive me. It's all right for Travis to be human, isn't it? That's the first meal I had today. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so anywho, sorry, y'all don't care about me. Y'all don't care about none of that stuff. I'm just a big old baby. All right. So the most fun weight loss program in it. So here's your schedule and see where I've already registered. If I've already registered, all I got to do, now I'll get a, you'll get an email reminding you but you also can go right here and enter the live class. Does that make sense if you've already registered? Very easy, okay? Very easy. And very soon at the end of our Zoom room classes, I think y'all will like this. Sergey, our developers on it now. At the end of the class, I think by next week, I'll be giving you a link at the end of class where you simply put in your name and your email address at the end of class, and then you'll get your class attendance badge. Does that make sense? You're, as soon as class is over, the way we're trying to program it, your class attendance badge pops up because we know from an accountability standpoint that people lose more weight if they attend class and, and they try to achieve those attendance badges. In other words, if you go uh, in our admin side, you will see that most of the people losing most of the weight have class attendance badge and it's got a lot of numbers in it. Make sense, everyone? Of, of course, people can continue to be willy nilly with the program on Facebook, but we wanted to separate our people. We want the willy nilly people, not all of them are willy nilly, don't take offense, but the willy-nilly people on Facebook and the all-in people in the Zoom room, right? We're working on it. Thanks for letting me know. All right, so next. Class attendance and journaling, Sandy Gregg, is that's how we do it. That's how we hold ourselves accountable. Now, 
if you're in the Zoom room, I'm going to be able to do the following. I'm going to be able to pull up an accountability report. And I will be able to see everybody that's in my class tonight. And I will be able to see whether you've, uh, if you're losing weight by the week in total. I'll be able to see the number of videos you've watched. I'll be able to see if you've earned your fast track badge. I'll be able to see if you've earned your 10% shirt. I'll be able to see if you're journaling. Like here's somebody, I won't name her. She has journaled zero times out of 30 days. Then I've got somebody like Stacy Brown who's journaled 30 out of 30 days. Somebody give Stacy Brown a round of applause. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Matter of fact, dadgummit, I'm going to go in here, make sure I got the right, right report. I'm just getting used to all this stuff myself. Anyway, look at this. Y'all give Stacy Brown a round of applause. April Floyd, 30 out of 30 days. Bethany Gray, 30 out of 30. Beth Zulo, 30 out of 30. Deborah Gillespie, 30 out of 30. Deborah Williamson, the 29 out of 30. Ashley Plummer, 30 out of 30. Bobby Vick, 30 out of 30 days. Lisa Holtzy, 30 out of 30. Lisa Crowder, 29 out of 30 days. Jan McGee, 30 out of 30 days. That's how you change your life. That's how you do it. Darla Binsky, 28 out of 30. Patricia Underwood, 29 out of 30. Pat Johnson, 29 out of 30. Look at these. Paulette, 30 out of 30. Do y'all see? Do you see? Do you see? <laughs> y'all are killing it. To, to find your badges, all right, you go to journal. Now, we haven't got the new attendance tracker up yet, but it's, it's coming probably this week. I'll give you a link at the end of class, and you just have to say, I was there. That's all you got to do. And then you'll, your badge will pop up. You can go in your journal and go to badges and see all of the current badges that you've earned. So the more badges you earn, the more weight loss you'll have. That's just how it is. I mean, it's that way across our entire gamut. But how do y'all like me being able to hold you accountable and be mean to you? Y'all like that? See, I can give you a diet. And, and by the way, here's the other beautiful thing you haven't seen yet once we get this spam issue taken care of. I'll be able to contact you via text or email when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yep. Put it, put it on put it top of consciousness. Now, some are worried internally that I'm going to lose more members trying to hold them accountable. But are we here to just make people feel good and let them be willy-nilly? Or are we here to help people lose weight and change their life? Which one are we here to do? We're here to change our life together. Cheers. Let's have some water. What good would it do me to have a thousand people that were willy-nilly versus a hundred that were serious about weight loss? So lots of things, but I need your patience. Will y'all be patient? We're doing this on a shoestring budget, bootstrap, and, and we're trying to make a program that's virtually free be worth thousands of dollars per person. The kind, we, we want y'all, y'all, we don't want you to just brag on us, but we want you to get results and say, you know, Travis and Sasha, they really are. They really dedicate themselves to us. That's our heart's desire. And if we drop the ball, let us know. We'll just keep working. We'll do what we can with what God provides. You can get into the Zoom room, Becky, www.travis.coach. Go, go sign up there for tonight's class. It still should be on the schedule. I don't think it's rolled off yet. Tomorrow, go – Go ahead tonight and sign up for the classes that you want to attend the rest of the week, and it should be a little easier. Always check your stamp spam. I cannot talk. Always check your spam folders, please. Uh, 
Oh, thank you, Cheryl. We do cash out. Tra uh, dollar sign Travis Jack Martin is my cash out, but you don't have to do that. We put it up there because we do take tips. It sure does help. That's very sweet of you to even consider it. Very much appreciated, even the thought. Yeah, Judy Crumpton, is, we got to learn because of the new accountability system. Do y'all understand what I'm doing so that you ain't mad at me? If I send out the Zoom link, then Zoom can't track your success in the program. But if you sign up for these sessions through our website, I can track your success and hold you accountable. There's no other way to do it because Zoom, if we go straight to Zoom and not through the website, there's no way to see how you're performing, what, where, you're, where the holes in your game are so that I can coach you along over the next months and get you to doing the things that help you lose weight and keep it off. But I'll still, for those that don't want to journal, don't want to watch classes, don't want to do any of that, you want to tune in in between, uh, you know, commercials on American Idol, then Facebook is the mode. All right, y'all, it's our Q&A session. Uh, Q&A session time. We've been being asked quite a bit about the new challenge. I will do, Lord willing, I will do an orientation tomorrow night. Instead of having 8 p.m. Q&A, I'll have the groove orientation. Everybody's welcome. But we'll if all goes as planned, we'll have the groove orientation. It's called Get Your Groove Back. Lose up to 10 pounds in one week because you're getting your groove back. So I think that's tomorrow. Again, I shouldn't be pregnant, but – People's asking, and we're going to try to put ourselves in a corner and get that out to you tomorrow, too. Um, but it, if it's not tomorrow night, it'll be Saturday for sure. But I'm going to try to pull it off tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best to get that pulled off tomorrow with our limited help. All right, we're going to get into Q&A. Uh, it's very important that everybody go through Fast Track and you take the test pass the test and earn the fast track badge. Again, I can see who has not earned it. I'm giving you fair warning. When things aren't going well for you in here and you're giving me the mully grubs, I'm gonna start looking at the report while you're talking, very easy to do, and see who's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Let's get that fast track because we know fast track, the journal and live classes assure weight loss. Thank you. Yeah, well, our air fryer was not too not too good. The one that you sent is amazing. I can't wait to use it. Teresa, is the rule the same as it used to be about a snack? You can have a half of any approved meal can be a snack. That is correct. Any Shibboleth approved meal, exactly one half of it will always work as an approved snack. Now, when something is approved as a snack first, it does not mean that two of those can be a meal. Does that make sense? All of the food formulas rely upon a ratio of protein to fiber to net carbs. And the more calories you have, the more ratio of protein and fiber you need. So if we're looking at just a, a snack, and okay, let's say that, such and such bar is an approved snack. That doesn't mean you can have two as a meal. We have to look at that because the more calories you go upward, the more protein and fiber you need to neutralize blood sugar impact. But if something you know for a fact is already a meal, then one half of it is always going to be a fantastic snack. Uh, do we have a P.O. box uh, for gifts or donations? Y'all are being sweet tonight. Sasha and I prayed today that we would find the help. And look at y'all. That makes two of you. Thank you so much. 
we can give you our address um, if if the Lord's leading you to do that. Never necessary, but it helps. I can't I can't have too much pride because we need all the help we can get. Two hundred six Second Street, Saint Up, Saint Augustine. Thank you so much. Appreciate your consideration. Need help tonight, Amanda says. I am at dinner 7 p.m. Oh, at dinner, 7 p.m. chicken breast and cauliflower rice. I'm hungry again. Besides embracing the growl, what ideas would you suggest to eat and not have a holiday? First, you should not be hungry after eating a chicken breast and cauliflower rice. You should be satisfied. We may be dealing with some mental hunger. So a few thoughts. And, and number one, I'm going to say the following. I'm going to give you the hard part of it first. Here's what we do. Here's a few keys to consider. Number one, embrace the growl. Embrace the growl. Right, everybody? Amen? Embrace it. That means that you are burning body fat that means you're burning the body fat next next look at your goals look at your why then eat it everybody do that it'll feel good to you 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 feeling like you need something to eat we're going to look at our why. We're going to look at our goals. We're going to remember Rocky Balboa, son, I ain't going down no more. And we're going to eat it. Everybody say, yeah, eat it. Eat those goals. Eat those goals. Eat them. Next, whatever size you want to be. I don't know what that is. For me, I was 300 pounds. I wanted to be 200 pounds. When I was 300 pounds, hey, hit the April bell here. When I was 300 pounds and I would get done with dinner, there would be times I was still hungry. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm 300 pounds. I'm eating the right portion, but my 300 pound mass wanted more food. I had to eat for the size that I want to be not the size I am. The big Travis had to go so that I could find little Travis, lean Travis. You will have times like that because your metabolism is still glucose dependent. And as long as it's glucose dependent until you have a fat adapted metabolism, you're going to feel hungry more often. Another thing, Another thing, it's not the foods that you eat that have got you in a situation. It's what's eating at you on the inside. Is it boredom? Have you conditioned yourself to eat past the, the point of fullness? If you have 20 grams of protein that's in a chicken breast and all that fiber and cauliflower and that roughage, you're satisfied, but your body may be requiring you to give it some sugar. You didn't give it any sugar. And your body right now is a, is a carb-dependent de metabolism. And it's like, where's my sugar? You've got to be consistent. You've got to give it time. Now, here's the practical part of that. Have some sugar-free jello to satisfy your mind. Have some pickles to satisfy your mind. Have some sliced cucumbers with apple cider vinegar, salt, and pepper splashed on it to satisfy the mind. Have some more rice cauliflower to satisfy the mind. Have some steamed or boiled cabbage to satisfy the mind. Have a palm full of fiber gourmet biscotti as an extra to satisfy the mind. Does that make sense, Amanda? I've been there too. 
it's difficult because you're trying to get to the ideal you. And unfortunately, we have to eat like we're already the ideal us before we are. And Big Travis don't like it. He don't want to die. But Big Travis had to die. He had to go. And it's all these things that you repetitiously talk to. You. You're talking yourself into it. You're talking yourself out of, out of eating before bedtime tonight and realizing, focusing not on that hunger, but you are literally embracing the growl, shifting gears, and burning fat the rest of the night. It's beautiful. Beautiful. How many grams of protein should we consume per day? Well, Maggie, I'm gonna answer that question, but my students know that we don't do that. We follow the bulletproof shield because that is a lifestyle that we can live with. Counting protein at every meal, even if you could be accurate, is not, in my estimation, a lifestyle that most people can entertain permanently. But if you've got to know, because you got to know, even though I don't teach it like this, I prefer to teach the shield. I'm going to give it to you anyway. So we have to find out what our lean body weight is. We've got to get adequate amounts of protein in during calorie deficit in order to preserve muscle or we'll lose too much muscle. We determine our lean body weight with our assessment online. We have an assessment that you can do. You have to make sure you measure yourself right or a set of RIMPHO scales, R-E-N-P-H-O. It will spit out what your lean body weight is. I weigh this morning 189, but my lean body weight with no fat, we don't feed the fat protein, we feed the muscle protein. So my lean tissue is 167 pounds. During, if you took all the fat off my body, 167. During my weight loss phase, I need one half up to one gram of protein per pound of lean body weight. Sometimes I do it quick and I just say a half, a half a gram of protein per pound of body weight, but the right way to do it is this way. So a half a gram of protein is the minimum amount of protein you need per day times your lean body weight. So for me, I need 85 grams of protein per day to preserve my muscle. Now, me missing that mark one day is not going to affect me. But if I'm missing it every day, I need to up my protein. Does that make sense, everyone? But if we follow the Shibola Shield, we will not have that problem nine times out of ten. Does everybody get that? The Shibola Shield will take care of that for us. Maggie says, I thought about the shield after I asked. No, no, it's a good question. It gives me something to talk about in class. I just want to make sure I'm eating enough so I don't lose muscle. Good job. Now, we'll always, look, we'll always lose a little muscle when we're losing weight. We'll always gain a little fat when we're putting on muscle. The idea is to make that shit. Most people that are losing weight, they lose almost nothing but muscle. Trick question. There are 3,500 calories stored in a pound of fat. Does anybody know how many calories are stored in a pound of muscle? Six hundred, very good, Paulette. So if we ever train our body to burn muscle, we'll lose our muscle very fast. We want to try to preserve. There's two ways to preserve muscle during calorie restriction. Number one, 
is getting in adequate protein like Maggie's talking about. The other way is to use it or you'll lose it. The life and health of the flesh is in the blood. So walking, push-ups, sit-ups, the partner exercises, those kind of things, getting blood flow to the muscle. By the way, that's why so many people's metabolisms are suffering. They're eating junk food. They get no blood flow to the digestive system. If you want to build a strong metabolism, you have to eat 80% of the time. You have to eat Shibola style, regardless of what program you're doing. Whole foods combine the right way. Good stuff tonight. Good stuff. Judy and Janice, uh, y'all may have missed it. To get in the Zoom room because of the new accountability tool, let me show you the new accountability tool. I will be able, the, the only way to get in the Zoom room now is to go through our website to get in the Zoom room. You go to www, quick link. There's other ways to get to it, quick link www.travis.coach. Uh, and now I can see everybody in the classroom that goes into the classroom the right way, and I can see exactly how they're performing. And I love it. I love it. For example, I can tell Paulette, she's, got, she's a partner. She's on fire. She's down 43.8 pounds. She's watched 49 videos that she has at least marked that she's watched. She's lost 10% of her weight. She's earned her fast track badge. And she's journaled 30 out of 30 times. Did y'all catch all that? That's how you lose the weight. That's why she has lost the weight. You cannot do all that stuff and not be successful. So my job as Travis.coach is to keep pointing this out to those rebels of mine until they go on and surrender to their daily disciplines and just get it done. When you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, you will finally string some consistency together, right, Pat Johnson, who is slaying it as always. Yes, Kimberly Arnold. Hey, Kimberly knew what, sorry. We have to put only the Facebook link in there and these videos on Facebook disappear in days. Uh, in, in order to use the new accountability feature, one has to go through the website only. If I put the Zoom link without in the text, without you going through the website, then uh, I can't hold people accountable in the classroom. So when you go to the classroom, online webinars, it says happening now. All I have to do is either register or enter the live classroom and boom, I'm right here with everybody. Does that make sense? I hope that y'all like it. Another thing that y'all need to see is you can tell we're dripping out changes. Oh, no, 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 wrong thing, hold on. We're dripping out changes. Now the home page. now we're dripping out the change, then we'll drip out the content. Your courses will be listed here. And then it'll, it'll grow. You've got the fast track course, the journey course, and the Tiger's Eye course. We finally got this page right today. Now you'll start seeing the content drip in there. Structure. (laughs) 
Is it normal to be tired and have headaches in the first week? I'm struggling. You know, sometimes you hear people say they don't have any problem. And other times you do. Is it anxiety? Could be. Is it stress? Could be. Have you ever had a headache and been tired before starting this program? Probably. So let's be careful not to attach how you're feeling if you've ever felt that way in your past to the program. But it very much could be, depending on what you've uh, been eating on our program, that your body is, is having some sugar and starch withdrawals. Sugar and starch is extremely addictive. And when you start weaning yourself off of so much sugar and starch, you can have headaches, just like a caffeine withdrawal headache. You can have sugar and starch withdrawal headaches. But if we can persevere, and if this continues, two things I would suggest, a doctor's visit, and secondly, a mentor appointment, and to let one of us look at your journal to see if you're eating enough food and enough protein. Most people, frankly, feel a lot better their first week. How many of you have in a few perfect days you felt better? Uh, overall, we can, most people are saying yes. You can get hyper fixated on the anxiety of change. Y'all know that's a thing, right? Anytime that you embark on massive change, when you have deep-seated compulsive behaviors, that anxiety alone can cause problems. But relax and, and don't overthink anything and realize talking to everybody, we're just eating delicious food. We did meal planning. Y'all remember meal ideas all last week and every reasonable person agreed there was plenty of variety. We're not giving up anything, but we can get ourselves in a state of mind where it's just so stressful. And then we get hyper fixated on all the ways that we're feeling. Most likely, most people that are experiencing being tired, they were tired before they ever started the program. Just a thought. Hang in there. In, in fact, we have to look at it like this. We have to look at it like this. What is our alternative? Another question. If you've been considerably overweight like myself, what was harder? The first week when I had sugar and starch withdrawal and sometimes got tired, or how I felt all the time when I was over 300 pounds. Stuff to think about. Ashley, so I have a question. How can we get review points so we can have someone look at the journal? Message Joni and see if you first see if you already have some. Uh, schedule a mentor appointment. She'll check your journal anyway. Uh, that's that's the two options right there. Just Reach out to Joni and ask if you have any journal review points or if you can schedule a mentor appointment and have her check your journal or give me your let give me permission to check your journal in front of everybody and then we can all learn together. We're not too strict on the journal points until somebody is really they're asking a lot like every single day and then we how are we going to do that for the current price is $7 a year. We couldn't pay enough people to do it. So as long as somebody's not needing it every day and not learning anything, um, then we're very liberal with the journal checks. I always want to help you when we can. Jay Young says, my doctor told me to stick with you. That makes me happy. We have a lot of great doctors that refer their patients to us. Appreciate them. Tina says, I'm struggling to figure out my why. One of the things is to go back on all the goals and dreams you, you forgot about or give up on when you, you back when you were younger, before you give up on them. You know, for example, when I started losing weight, I wanted to look good naked. That was very important to me. Today, that's not as important. So the only way for me to 
still feel that is to go back to what were my old goals? What were the things I gave up on because I thought I was too old? I talked to a lady today at least 15 minutes who said, I'm just too old to do this. She was 60. Says she's too old. I got people who's 85 years old in this program killing it. But in her mind, in her mind, there's a, a story about a, a soldier, American soldier went in a Japanese tattoo parlor. And he looked at all the tattoos on the wall, told the Japanese tattoo artist, he's in the military, he said, uh, I want that one right there tattooed on my arm. And it was one, it was a tattoo that said, born loser, born loser. And the Japanese tattoo artist was telling the story. And the question was, why would anybody get born loser tattooed on their body? And the Japanese tattoo artist said, long before tattooed on body, I already tattooed in mind. And we tend to do that to ourselves. So find that why. It's never too late. As long as you've got breath in you, it's never too late to humble yourself as a child and achieve, achieve, achieve. Only you know what gets you excited. I know what gets me excited. And that's what I get up and read on my nightstand rules every day. I pull up that paper first thing in the morning. Yes, I'm going to do it. And when those, those goals and those dreams and that vision no longer gets me excited, I edit. I change it. Places you want to go. Things you want to do. Losing weight. Losing weight. You dance more. You smile more. You laugh more. What can beat that? You get through the good times and have more fun. You get through the bad times more easily. Losing weight should be your number one priority other than your connection with God. Look at Will. Will's slaying it, and Will's 17 years older than the lady I talked to today. And if you're here, ma'am, I didn't call you names, so don't get mad at me. You're not slow. You're not slow. Everybody says that, that their weight loss is slow. Everybody does. When they gain weight, they don't say they gained it fast. If they lose the same way they gained, they say they lost it slow. 1% of your weight per week is fast. If you weigh 180 and lost 1.8, most people here say that's slow. That is rapid fat loss. This is how much one pound of fat takes up on the body. This is one sixth of one pound. If you just consistent and you drop a sixth of a pound of fat a day, you're killing it. Your life is radically changing. We've got to work on talking ourselves into it and not out of it. None of it's the truth. Y'all understand that? None of it's the truth. Only God's the truth. When you say losing weight's easy, that's not the truth. When you say it's hard, that's not the truth. But if you say it's hard, you'll quit. If you say it's easy, you'll stick to it longer. So why not, if you're going to lie to yourself, at least lie in a good way. Kimberly, I will still send out text links, but it will be to Facebook videos, which will be left temporarily. Uh, but that can also remind you, even if I send a Facebook link, let that remind you, all you got to do is go to mysmoke.com or www.travis.coach and or just go to the online schedule and you can enter right in right there. So you can still let it prompt you. Thank you, Tina. Nicole, I think headaches can be anxiety related. Absolutely. Also, the addiction component with food for some people. Let me ask you, let me put it to you this way. Transparency time. We're having problems with our new landlord, and they're serious problems. I have been more tired and had a headache for days. 
if I told y'all that I've got a landlord who's ruthlessly mean to us for no reason, no reason, I promise I'm not making it up, done nothing, paid every dime, did it, ruthlessly mean. And I told you, I have a terrible headache and I feel low energy. Is anybody here, would y'all all say, well, no wonder, Travis, all that stress you're under. Would y'all agree? What's different if we're so worked up about having to change our lifestyle? We need to more focus on what is really so hard about it? What is really so hard about it? It's not that hard. We're eating to li- it, We thought it was going to be a radical change to lose weight. But really, it was just a little pivot. It was just a little pivot. And if we can relax and let God, what is the, let's be Christians for a moment. We should be 24-7, but it's tough, isn't it? God help our unbelief. What if we did what the Bible said and said, cast our cares upon the Lord for he careth for you? Why would you take thought of tomorrow? Why would you want to increase your stature? You can't add anything to your stature. God does that. Be a prisoner to Jesus Christ. I mean, if we're Christians, God's going to take care of this. Let's just relax. We're getting healthy. We're getting lean. We got Brother Travis with us every day. He's going to he's gonna be there for us even if nobody else is. He sees that we're giving and giving and giving to everybody, and we need somebody to give to us. And he's trying to give to us. So you've got so much more for you than be against you. Relax. We're just going to eat delicious foods three times a day. But, Travis, I need it more than that. Do you? How's that been making you feel? How's that been working out for you when your stomach feels stretched? When you've got no energy and you look in the mirror and there's a still small voice voice that says, you're better than this. Is it really working out for you? Let's just follow the Shabbat lifestyle. Stacy, I'm having to go to a neurologist in the morning for my neuropathy from chemo, so I will miss the live class. I'm nervous about it. Prayers are appreciated. God bless you. Hey, Arlen. Oh, wow. Awesome side note. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that out loud. Uh, awesome side note, Stacy. Thanks for sharing. Arlen is my friend. Hey, Arlen, what's up, man? Outstanding. I always love it when Arlen's in class. Good to connect with you tonight, bro. Yeah, Stacy was telling me that Arlen's name, when they adopted him, his name, no wonder he and I are brothers. His name is Travis, was Travis. Two Travises. The world don't have enough room for us two amazing superheroes. Any other questions tonight before we go? Thank y'all for your patience this week as we keep adding drips. to. Are y'all seeing some of the changes to the website? There's, there's probably 50 more. <laughs> We're just having to drip one at a time so we don't get overwhelmed. So thank y'all. Please tell people about Shibola. That's our biggest hurdle uh, as far as staying afloat is getting in front of, of, of people that we can help because uh, the way that people do that these days is through social media without you sharing we won't be able to because we can't break through the algorithms because of our message.
prayers for everyone here. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 1030 a.m. We will have a, a session. At 1230, we will have our exclusive partner class. And then tomorrow night at 8, if I can get it all ready, we'll do the groove orientation. Get your groove back. Thanks, Stacy. Thanks, everybody. Bye, y'all. Have a good night. God bless you.